Hey guys, um, so today I'm going to be doing a different video video than usual. Um, usually I do videos with like video game walkers or, you know, how to video games, uh, how to clips, you know, in video games. But today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, so I here, I have here right now, uh, a locker, uh, come, yeah. Whatever we want to call it, like a locker, like a lock. Um, and the purpose of this video today is for me to be showing you guys how to unlock your lock uh, combination um, if you have forgotten it. Now, I know what you're thinking here too. Oh, this, uh, you know, what's this guy talking about? So let me just explain here. Um, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube. Um, people showing how to find out the combination to your lock if you have forgotten it, you know. Uh, so, usually on these videos, people will, like, show these different techniques. Um, and I guess they're, I guess they're effective, um, but it's usually just a swing or a miss. People will, like, you know, usually not be able to figure it, figure it out using these techniques that other people have shown. So what I'm going to be showing you today is a 100% foolproof way of unlocking the combo to your lock uh, regardless. So usually in these videos they'll like hold down the shackle, you know, hold it a little bit for example, and then I pull and this will be like the, and until you hear like a sound or it will, will like get stuck somewhere in the shackle. Um, now this technique I've tried before. And to be honest, it's not successful for me. Maybe I'm using the wrong technique. Because the, the trick to this is you have to pull just enough. And I don't think this works for every kind of locker combination. Usually in these YouTube videos that people show, it's usually for like a master lock. I have here an American lock right here, as you can, uh, as you can see. So this doesn't really work for this, and I've tried this before, and then they'll even say like, okay, to get the second digit to your combo, you know, add five from the first one, or blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I've tried these things too, and it's not really successful. So something I found really unique, um, it's really like a guess and check technique, and it might take the longest way, but I'm going to show you a, a certain way where you can kind of cheat the system, because really... For any lock combination, this, this is a universal standard, whatever kind of lock you have, is if you're like one dial off, this goes for all three of your uh, numbers. Usually like these locks, it takes three, three different numbers to unlock it. Is you can be one dial off. Um, so that already is something we're going to implement, this technique. And it's going to really save your life, I promise. Um, another thing is... Uh, there's a technique here where, you know, usually people sit tell you turn counterclockwise, right? And this, this, even if like, you know, your com combination, they'll say like turn counterclockwise. And then from there, uh, the second number is going to be go back and turn this way instead now, turn clockwise. And you know, this is going to be your second number. And then the, for for you to get that, for the second number, you usually have to repeat it. This is the way they teach you. So usually you'll start from zero. So for, let me just, I feel like if I just show you, it'll be a lot easier. Uh, whoops. So let me, give me one moment here. Let me adjust my camera here. Okay. So now that I'm at a better angle, so let me show you. So you're going to do your first number here. And you're going to just turn... They're going to say start from zero, turn counterclockwise this way. And then you're going to, you know, do your first number. I already know this one number. I'm just going to, you know, pretend I don't know. And I'll and I have like three different locks here. I'll show you. And, you know, you'll do your first number or, or whatever. And then you'll, you'll go here and then you'll turn the opposite direction. And then go for your second number here. Um, and they'll be like, okay, you, you're at your second number now. Then you have to turn it clockwise again and repeat that second number again. And then you'll turn counterclockwise to get your, you know, your last number. And then you'll, you know, you'll pull and then you'll unlock it. So 
Okay, so thirty eight two two zero thirty eight this sucks thirty four. Three, two. I'm going to keep doing this. It'll be the last number. 28. 26. Skip through the house. 24. 3, 4. I'm gonna, you're gonna keep doing this, and uh, the next one is gonna be f four as a second number.
There you go, guys. I unlocked it. You'll see, using this theory, it works. So just remember, no repeated numbers, nothing like that at all. So it really works. So just consider this too, you know. Um, number zero. It's unlikely that's going to be one of your combinations, but try that anyways. I mean, worst case scenario, you try all these other combinations and it doesn't work. Uh, go back and start with zero. And again, the second number is unlikely to be repeated uh, from the first number. So for example, like let's say you had, if your first number was, in my case it was 30, I just figured, you know, all these combinations I tried. The second number is very unlikely it's going to be 30. And as you saw, every time I turn two dials for all the uh, three numbers, I never repeated any of the numbers. So, you know, the whole point of this is you, you're you trying to unlock the lock here. You're not like trying to, you know, lock, uh, hack into somebody else's lock or something. So although this method is probably not the fastest, in my opinion, it's the most uh, accurate because it's a universal method that will work in any of these combination locks. Okay, thanks for watching my video guys. Go ahead and give this a try and uh, let me know in the comments below if this method worked out for you. Okay. So 30. 10. Twenty-two. Okay. Now watch us. We're gonna go one dial off. So let's say this time we're gonna do thirty-one, eleven, set of ten. We we'll also go one dial up for each one. Eleven. And say we're gonna do twenty-three now. Watch us. Same thing. Same result. It's gonna lock. Look at that. How about that? Well, it works, so the one dial off theory is true. And I proved it here. So, go ahead and unlock those locks there. Uh, more time 30, 10, and 22 instead. At 23. Still, same result. Bam, look at that. 